When the East Asian Theater of Operations is home to the world's densest fleet of four and a half generation fighters, why is the J-16 able to exert cross-generation suppression over the Korean Japanese F-15K, J and the Russian Su-35S, its 1,100 mm gallium nitride active, phased array radar achieves 400 km level situational awareness, and with the Thunderbolt 15 missiles 200 km inescapable zone, has it built up a double crush on the APG 82 v one radar in the AIM-120D, in the Su-35S still relies on the Snow Leopard E, passive array and their 77-1 missiles. How does the J-16's distributed integrated avionics and electronic warfare system achieve a 6 to 1 exchange ratio advantage? Behind this set of data is not only the generation difference of avionics, but also the dimension of systematic combat capability. As we all know, due to the existence of the living fossil of the Cold War, the Korean Peninsula, the East Asian region after the collapse of the Soviet Union, has maintained an extremely strong state of military readiness. Taking South Korea as an example, which is often spat on by military fans, the South Korean Air Force is actually not bad, equipped with KF-16, Falcon, and other types of advanced fighters. In the heavy fighter field, the South Korean Air Force's main equipment is the F-15K, Eagle, Type Fighter, which is an excellent performance of the heavy fighter, has a strong air combat and ground attack capability, in Asia and even the global air force have a place in the power, as a derivative of Boeing's F-15 series, the F-15K Eagle not only inherits the excellent maneuverability and high altitude and high speed performance of the F-15 series, but also undergoes customized upgrades to strengthen its multi-mission strike capability on the ground and at sea, and is capable of effectively monitoring and intercepting potential threats in a wide airspace. Look at the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, JAST. In the field of heavy fighters, the core strength of the JAST also relies on the F-15 series, in particular. After a number of modernization and upgrading of the F-15J, DJ Eagle fighters, these fighters not only maintain the original high performance of the F-15, but also through the integration of advanced avionics systems and weapon configurations, greatly enhancing its survivability and operational efficiency in modern air combat. And it is worth noting that the Air Force not only has excellent fighter aircraft, but also reached a high level in pilot training and tactical use, and is now one of the air forces in East Asia that cannot be ignored. After looking at South Korea and Japan, Let's take a look at Russia to the north of South Korea and Japan. Although Russia as a whole is a European country, a significant portion of its territory remains within the category of East Asia. In terms of heavy fighters, the Russian Air Force mainly includes top models, including the Su-35S, Su-30SM, and Su-57, but the Su-57 is not currently in service on a large scale and will not be discussed for the time being but only the Su-35S and Su-30SM fighters. Among them, the Su-35S fighter, as one of Russia's most advanced non-stealth fighters in service, incorporates some of the advanced technology of the fifth-generation aircraft, has a superb configuration including vector thrust engines, advanced avionics and radar, and possesses extremely outstanding maneuverability, detection capability and weapons carrying capacity. It is not only able to carry out high-intensity air combat missions, but also has excellent ground and sea strike capability. Is the backbone of the Russian Air Force in the medium and long-range air control and precision strike? The Su-30SM is a model of Russian multi-purpose fighters, which inherits the high mobility and long range of the Su-30 series, and by replacing the new radar and weapon system, enhanced the combat adaptability to the complex electromagnetic environment capable of carrying out a variety of tasks, including air control, interception, ground attack and electronic warfare. It is the Russian Air Force to carry out a variety of operational tasks of an important model. After talking about Russia, then talk about Russia's iron brother India. India is not an East Asian country, but as a neighbor, China must not ignore its existence. In terms of heavy fighters, at present, the Indian Air Force is equipped with a number of advanced fighters, including Su-30 MKI, Rafale, Mirage 2000. The strength is not bad. Of course, in addition to the above countries, China's neighbors also have some countries in Central Asia, Southeast Asia, Northeast Asia, North Asia and South Asia, but these countries are relatively weak in military strength, so I will not go into details for the time being.
At present, China's neighboring military powers, in addition to India, are mostly concentrated in East Asia, which is also the main reason why East Asia is called the Blue Star Monster Room. But China's J-16 is a powerful pistol. J-16 is China's independent research and development of two-seat, twin-engine heavy multi-purpose fighters. Not only inherited the excellent performance of the J-11 series of fighters, but also through the introduction of advanced avionics, radar and weapons configuration, to achieve from a single air-to-air -air combat to the comprehensive transformation of multi-purpose combat. And such a transformation is extremely interesting when comparing the heavy fighters of neighboring countries. First, look at India. As mentioned earlier, India's current main equipment, most of which are imported, lack of independent research and development and upgrading capabilities, which makes it difficult to form an effective counterforce in the face of the Chinese Air Force, coupled with the fact that India's development in terms of system is slightly inadequate, the Russian fighter aircraft, French fighter aircraft and domestic fighter aircraft are uneven, which means that although India has advanced fighter aircraft, but the lack of synergy and cannot fight the level that should be. Looking at Japan and South Korea, the two countries' equipment is merged and discussed because they are both U.S. allies and have some similarities. Japan and South Korea's current heavy fighters are the F-15 series, and while these fighters have excellent performance, they also appear to be outmatched in the face of China's J-16. The F-15 series of fighters are known for their excellent maneuverability, high altitude and high speed performance, as well as their powerful ground-to-sea strike capability, but they have, after all, been in service for many years, and some of their technology is relatively outdated. In contrast, the J-16 has been comprehensively upgraded in terms of avionics, radar and weapon configuration. It is equipped with a more advanced radar system, capable of detecting targets farther and more accurately. At the same time, the J-16 is also equipped with a variety of precision-guided weapons, capable of launching attacks on F-15. S at longer distances, which is perfectly in line with the current trend of discovery is destruction. In addition, the J-16's multi-purpose performance also allows it to cope with a more complex battlefield environment, whether it is air combat or ground attack, can be easily. Then look at Russia, if not to discuss the five-generation machine Su-57, then the grand finale of the Sino-Russian competition will be J-16 and Su-35S, Su-30SM showdown. And because the J-16 does have the blood of the Soviet side of the family, this duel will also be regarded as the side of the family of a civil war. But unfortunately, there is a saying that the blue is better than the blue. Thanks to China's highly developed science and technology, the J-16 in avionics equipment has completed the Russian relatives of their own beyond. Only an active phased array radar has completed the dimensional strike. More crucially, the J-16, as the core equipment of the Chinese Air Force, has been deeply integrated into China's combat system, forming a strong integrated combat capability, which is difficult for Russia, Japan, India, and South Korea to reach. This is precisely why the East Asian, monster room, countries although the strength of extraordinary, but in front of China's J-16, can only be eclipsed by the fundamental reasons.